Hi, I'm Noel with creationeffects.com. Just a quick tip today, I'll show you how to seamlessly loop your footage in After Effects. Specifically, how to loop a clip that was not designed to be looped, meaning the last frame is different than the first frame. If your clip was meant to be looped, then it's really easy. You just right click the clip in the project panel, go to interpret footage, and then main. And at the bottom, you can set it to loop however many times you want. I'll just do 100. And then when you bring that clip into a new composition, uh, you can see this now goes on for 17 minutes and it'll just play over and over again. But if your footage is not meant to be looped, you can still make it loop seamlessly, uh, but it will work better for some shots than others. Ideally, there should be no camera movement and uh, no large objects in the frame should be changing position. So this shot is ideal. Um, I made this by taking some time-lapse footage in the Florida Keys and uh, then I added this Aurora using the Aurora effect from Creation Effects. And uh, if you're interested in that, you can pick it up at the link in the description. It's only $19. But let's say I want to turn this into a repeating video background. And uh, the last frame is different than the first frame. And you can see that if I toggle hitting the end key to go to the last frame and the home key to go to the first, you can see they're very different, um, but we can fix that. So I'm going to select that clip and uh, you can see this is a 10 second clip. Um, we just need to fade the end into the beginning. Let's say we want that transition to last two seconds. So I'm going to go forward two seconds in time and I'm going to trim off the beginning of that clip. I'll use a shortcut. I'm going to hold down the option or the alt key if you're on a PC and I'll hit the left bracket button. And then I'm going to go to the first frame by hitting the home key and I'm going to move this clip to that first frame by hitting a shortcut key, it's the left bracket button. All right, now I'm gonna duplicate that clip and I'm gonna slide the duplicate over to the right until it starts right at the end of the original clip. And with that layer selected, I'm gonna bring up the opacity property by hitting the T key. And I'll add a keyframe with the opacity at 100. And then we'll extend that clip so we can see the beginning again. And I'm gonna set another keyframe with the opacity at zero. And uh, then we just go to the end of that original clip down here. Um, not the very end of the layer, but the last frame. So you'll have to go backwards one frame from the end of the layer. And then you can hit the end key to set the out point. So this is the area that's going to loop. And we can just play it back and see how that worked. So you can see it's perfectly seamless. So now we could export this clip and we would have a looping clip or if you want to do that in After Effects, we can just do that really quick. So you can see we have eight seconds and one frame of loopable footage. So I'm going to change the composition to be that duration. I'm going to hit Command K to bring up the composition settings. And uh, down here we're going to do 801. Eight seconds, one frame. We'll click OK. And uh, so this is the comp we are working in. I'm going to drag that into another comp. So we're in Aurora 2 now, and uh, let's make this comp 10 minutes long. Let me zoom way out. So here's our eight second clip. Now we won't be able to make this loop using that interpret footage technique that I showed you before. So what we'll do is just duplicate this a ton of times. I'll select them and duplicate and duplicate some more. So we've got all of these, and I'm gonna select them all, Command or Control A. I'll right click it, I'll go to Keyframe Assistant, and then Sequence Layers, click OK, and that puts them all in sequence. I hope that helps some of you. If you like to see really creative visual effects that push the boundaries of what's possible in After Effects, please go check out creationeffects.com. There are a bunch of custom visual effects and custom animation templates there that you can get and use in your own projects to save time and money.